Sziasztok! Hi everyone! I'm Sándor. Welcome to another beginner Hungarian lesson. Today we are continuing our journey in conjugating verbs in their indefinite form. And today we are going to talk about the regular ik verbs in Hungarian. In Hungarian they are called ikes, igék. Let's go! So, what is an ik verb? An ik verb is a verb where the third person singular conjugation ends in ik. As most of you know, most Hungarian verb stems can be found in third person singular. That is not the case here. Well, not always to be exact. If you're looking for the stem of these verbs, drop the ik ending in third person singular and that's gonna be your verb stem. The bad news is that there is no rule as to which verbs take on this ik form. Unfortunately, that is a case by case scenario. The other bad news is that the suffixes in first person singular change a little bit. So let's see the suffixes. Én, om, em, öm. If you've seen my previous two videos on this topic, then you know that the general suffixes are ok, ek, or ök. So they end in a k sound. Actually, you can still use the general suffixes for ik verbs too. It's grammatically correct, but it sounds a lot more natural to use om, em, or öm. The rest of the suffixes are the same, except in third person singular. So, te, s, is just an s sound. Ö, ik. Mi, unk, unk. Ti, tok, tek, tök. Ők, nak, nek. Let's see some examples. Lakni. Lakni. It means to live, but more like to reside. So when you use this word, you mean that you live in a city, or in a street, or in a house. You're talking about where you live, and not that you're alive. I hope that makes sense. So. Én lakom. Én lakom. I live. And remember, én lakok, with a K sound at the end, is also acceptable. It sounds a bit rough for my ears though. Te lux. Te lux. You live. Ő lakik. Ő lakik. He, she, it lives. Mi lakunk. Mi lakunk. We live. Ti laktok. Ti laktok. You live. Ők laknak. Ők laknak. They live. And please remember, this verb means that you're residing somewhere. For example, it lakom. It lakom means that I live here. Or that this is where I live. Let's see another verb. Megszökni. Megszökni. To escape or to flee. In Mexicum. In Mexicum. I escape. Te Mexux. Te Mexux. You escape. Ő Mexicic. Ő Mexicic. He, she, it escapes. Mi Mexicunk. Mi Mexicunk. We escape. Ti megszöktök. Ti megszöktök. You escape. Ők megszöknek. Ők megszöknek. They escape. I hope you know that all of these verbs can be translated into English as present continuous as well. So, I'm escaping, you're escaping, and so on. We don't differentiate between simple present and present continuous in Hungarian. Another verb. Álmodni. Álmodni. To dream. Én álmodom. Én álmodom. I dream. Te álmodsz. Te álmodsz. You dream. Ő álmodik. Ő álmodik. He, she, it dreams. Mi álmodunk. Mi álmodunk. We dream. Ti álmodtok. Ti álmodtok. You dream. Ők álmodnak. Ők álmodnak. They dream. Elmérkedni. Elmérkedni. To contemplate, to reflect, or to theorize. It means that you're thinking about something. You're deep in your thought. Én elmérkedem. Én elmérkedem. I contemplate. Te elmérkedsz. Te elmérkedsz. You contemplate. Ő 
elmélkedik. Ő elmélkedik. He, she, it contemplates. Mi elmélkedünk. Mi elmélkedünk. We contemplate. Ti elmélkedtek. Ti elmélkedtek. You contemplate. Ők elmélkednek. Ők elmélkednek. They contemplate. Now, these are some of the regular ik verbs. We're going to talk about irregular ik verbs in the future, but in our next lesson on this journey, we're going to tackle verbs ending in esh, s, or z. Don't worry, it'll all make sense in the end. Thank you for studying with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you feel like supporting the channel even more, my paper information is in the description. See you in the next lesson. Sziasztok, a viszontlátásra!